According to the French National Standard NFC 17-102, an ESE is defined as a lightning rod that can generate a streamer or a leader earlier than an ordinary lightning rod under the same conditions, or more specifically under laboratory test conditions specified in NFC 17-102. In the 1995 version of the standard, the time difference measured in the lab is then multiplied by the average measured leader velocity, which is incorrectly claimed to be 1 meter per microsecond. This multiplication results in a distance which is defined as the gain in upward leader length. That's the basic method of operation of an ESE as can be understood from Appendix A of the 1995 version of the standard. A leader, which is launched early, will travel with an average speed of 1 meter per microsecond to produce an enhanced zone of protection. An obvious empirical problem with the 1995 version of the standard is the claim that the average measured leader velocity is 1 meter per microsecond, which is about 10 times faster than the actual average measured leader velocity as taken with high-speed video in different locations around the world and published in reputable scientific journals. If you use the actual average measured leader velocity, the claimed enhanced protection radius of an ESE virtually disappears. In the 2011 version of the standard, although the same value appears in the same equation to produce the exact same claimed enhanced protection radius, there is no longer any reference to a leader velocity or any claimed method of operation. To find out more about where this number came from, we contacted the French National Standards Committee, specifically the president of AFNOR UF81 Lightning Protection. According to the president, in the 2011 version of NFC 17-102, the velocity of 1 meter per microsecond as used in the 1995 version of the standard has been replaced by a conversion factor. This conversion factor has no units or dimensions, but is identical in magnitude to the previously used incorrect leader velocity and numerically produces the exact same claimed enhanced protection radius. Furthermore, this conversion factor is not based on any measurements in any peer-reviewed paper or reputable scientific journal, but is based on internal data provided by Gimelec. Gimelec is a group of companies in the French digital electronics industry that promotes its own members' technologies. It is interesting to note that if in fact this conversion factor has no dimensions as is indicated in the 2011 version of NFC 17-102, then delta is not a distance in meters, but rather it is a time in seconds. And the calculated protection radius RP is also not a distance. The fact that NFC 17-102 uses obviously false or non-peer-reviewed numbers to calculate the protection radius should be enough of a red flag to prevent any technically competent or ethical organization from selling, specifying, or certifying ESC systems. <laughs>